Hey, it's Coach Josh, and we are live from the quarantine zone, and we are here in our uh, makeshift living room inside the Train for Warriors dojo. And um, I thought today would be a really great story to share uh, about resilience. And um, I, uh, uh, if you've ever been in a place where you didn't feel like you were, you had the resources or the the skill or the the intelligence or Whatever the whatever you needed to figure figure out your um, the moment I and mean, get through that moment, and then you can relate to this. So I was a I was a young uh, man. I was 20 years old, and I was on my uh, first and only deployment to Afghanistan in 2005. And uh, we were uh, I, I was driving a, a Humvee, and we were outside the wire on a mission, and um, we lost not one but two tires, and um, we. Uh, I was the I was the driver, and it was probably my fault. But somehow we ended up in a ditch. But the the important thing um, to me at the moment was that we um, get out of that ditch and get to our uh, our rendezvous point on time, so we could link up with the rest of our team. And uh, I didn't know I didn't know whether or not we were going to be able to get the the vehicle out of the ditch. I didn't know uh, whether or not we were going to be able to get to our uh, our our rendezvous point on time. And I was pretty nervous, so I got on the radio and I um, let the uh, uh, my higher ups know what was happening, and and I requested that uh, they send a vehicle to tow us out to help pull us out of the ditch. And um, uh, I, I reported my status that we'd lost two tires, that we had a rendezvous in like you know 35 minutes, and um, I didn't I didn't think we we're gonna make it, that we were short on time. And then the the person on the other radio, this uh, uh, major. Listen, took notes, and they could hear say, "Okay, I understand where you're at. I understand what's going on," and um, and he heard my request for help, and he said, "Nope, what you're going to do is you're going to change the tires, self-extract, and you're going to get to your rendezvous point on time." And I just looked at my my uh, fellow soldiers. We were three of us in the vehicle, and uh, we had to all of a sudden figure out how to change tires on the fly and how to uh, get ourselves back on the road, and. Because of that, that constraint, being that our, our leadership told us that we had to do it, and we had to do it on our own, and we had to do it by ourselves, we dug deep, we worked together, and we were able to change our tires and get back on the road on time. And in hindsight, it doesn't seem like that dramatic of a story, but at 20 years old, um, trying, to, uh, trying to figure something out for the first time, I was pretty scared, I was pretty nervous. And um, in, in, in hindsight, that was a moment where I learned that it was possible to self-extract. Like you're in a situation that you think is, is impossible, but you can get yourself out of that situation. And uh, for me, uh, that, that moment is reflected right now, right? If you're, if you're, if you're watching this, you're, you, you might be quarantined, you, you might have uh, your, your routine shaken up, you might have uh, a lot of turbulence going on in your life right now, but it's possible to dig deep and self-extract. In fact, you have all the tools, you have, you have all the resources, and you've probably even done it before. Well, now is a great time to get that practice in, get those reps in, and self-extract. We are gonna do a really fun workout today. So we're gonna do uh, some warm-ups, and then we're gonna do some skill training. Now. We don't have weights, and a lot of us aren't in the gym the way that we, um, we were a few weeks ago. So we don't have access to the barbells or the dumbbells or the kettlebells that we need to build muscle and strength, or, or, or do we? We might not need that. So today we're gonna work on a power push-up and a pistol squat with a lot of tension. And these two exercises build strength, power, and muscle in the upper and the lower body when they're done correctly. And I'm gonna go over how we do that really well and how we do that together. Uh, and then we're going to apply those two exercises into a 10 warrior day workout, which is, if you've ever done this with me before, it's a confusing set of uh, uh, workout routines that I will narrate as we go and you can just follow along so you don't have to think about anything, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so let's get our hips and shoulders warmed up for some power push-ups and some pistol squats. All right, so we're gonna come over here to the floor. We need to get those hips loosened up so that we can properly. Uh, sure. We're gonna figure out some technology. Just kidding. 
Uh, all right, I'm gonna, ah, there we go. Ha! <laughs> so we're gonna warm up our hips so that we can uh, properly do the, uh, the pistol squat. So we're gonna work on stretching the groin, and I'm gonna go from a seated or a kneeling Cossack stretch here. I'm just gonna do 10 reps. I'm rocking forward and back. My foot is, um, is flat, toe pointed towards me. I'm gonna do 10 reps here, sitting on that heel. My toes underneath me just a little bit. Rocking back and forth. Then I'm gonna to kick to the other side, do the same thing, stretching out that groin. This is gonna become really important because we're gonna use our adductors and our hip flexors quite a bit today. So you wanna make sure that they're nice and loose. And we're we'll rock here. Once I've done 10 reps on this side, I'm gonna get up and I'm going to do a double wide stance. So I'm gonna lunge out. I'm gonna bring my forearm in line with my shin. I'm gonna walk all the way out, walk all the way back. Then I'm gonna rotate up, look at the sky. So again, I'm coming all the way out. When I'm rotating, my palm needs to be in line with my lead heel. The reason is, is because I want my hip to be pushed backwards. And if I don't get that paw in line with the heel, I'm not gonna be able to get that range of motion to open up that groin and low back. So I'm going out and in, out and in. I'm gonna do two more reps on each side. One more rep. So we're doing this to warm up the triceps, shoulders, abs, get everything greased up for our workout. We're going to do some really quick stretches. So stretch those hip flexors, take a knee, put your foot on a couch or a ball if you have one around, squeeze that butt, open up those hips, rocking and rolling here, squeezing the hip, Squeeze the glute, driving the hip forward. We're gonna do five reps on the right, five reps on the left. Sorry, 10 reps on the right, 10 reps on the left. Switch your feet. So we're, ooh, I got a really tight left hip too. Shocker. So I'm squeezing the glute, push that hip forward, push that knee forward, opening up that hip. Once you've done 10 reps on both sides, I'm gonna do a little lat stretch. So I'm reaching up. So if my left foot's down, my left hand will be high. I'm gonna grab my elbow, and I'm gonna lean away from that hip. And I'm gonna take five big breaths in. Every time I inhale, I'm gonna get a little taller. Exhale, I'm gonna get a little longer. So I'm gonna breathe in, go my belly up there, exhale, in, exhale. One more breath. Then you're gonna switch, and then you're gonna switch the feet again so you can do the last stretch on the other side. Big breath. Exhale. Five breaths total. Three more. Make sure you're squeezing like glute. Push back and forward. Breathing. One more breath. Aha. Yes, all right. So, we've stretched, we've loosened up. Now we're gonna practice our power push-up. So, power is, is uh, weight or force produced with regard to speed. So, a traditional push-up, feet and knees together, you're here on the ground. I'm gonna come down to the floor, press up nice and slow, push into the pinkies, 
Everything looks good. Power push up. I'm going to explode off the back. So I'm hopping my hands up off the ground. And I'm only going to do a few reps because you're not going to be able to stay fast and explosive for long. And you want to be able to continue to be powerful while you're doing the reps. So if you slow down, you're not getting the power. There you go, you're done. So we're going to be doing sets of two power push-ups today. Notice that Bootsy adjusted the height of her push-ups. So she's doing a push-up on the couch or a chair or a countertop. She's going fast and explosive. So that's going to be your power push-up. And when you're doing the power push-up, what I want you to do is same, same technique we're going to use in the pistol squat, but you're going to be very, very tense through the abs. But the tension isn't sucking in, it's pushing out. So I'm trying to get that ribcage drop, uh, stay in that column appearance, and press out through my belly. And then you're going to feel, you push your fingers into the sides of your belly, you should be able to feel your gut pushing out against you. So you want to feel that as you do your power push-up. So, belly out. So you're going to do another set real quick um, on your chosen implement, whether it's the uh, it's the floor, a couch, or anything like that. Now, if you're struggling with the power push-up, you can revert to a normal push-up, no problem. Just try to do it faster. It's all right. We're just going to apply a little bit of speed. But you're focused on your gut, your glutes, and the, the speed at which you push away from the earth. Then we're gonna go to something even more challenging, the pistol squat. So, this is a great total body exercise. It uses everything uh, in the body. You're gonna have a tight gut, you're gonna get up on one foot, and you're going to slow, keep one leg locked out. You're gonna slowly lower, touch, your, touch the couch, stand back up. Get a pressure through the gut, we'll slowly lower. Touch. Whew, almost fell. That's good. Demonstrating real life. Good. So we just did three reps on one side, now we're gonna match it on the other. Locking out the non-active leg. Guts tight. I'm even gonna make fists. I'm gonna squeeze my uh, uh, like take some pull, crush it in my hand and make a diamond, and that's gonna help me. Stay tight as I go through this motion. Touch. Leaning, I'm leaning forward as I sit down. Leaning forward as I sit down. That's going to help keep my weight over my center of gravity over the leg. So it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of focus. But we're going to try it again. We're going to do sets of two power push-ups at a time and three pistol squats. So I want you to try it again. Three pistol squats on the opposite side of the side, the side you started on. Again. Non active leg, non training leg working. Touch, up, touch, up, touch, up, and switch legs. Touch, up, touch, up, touch, up. Now you can go deeper if you want to. I'm using the bench here to simulate a couch. You can go all the way down to your, your butt to your heel if you're that person. I am not, so I don't do that. But you can make it as challenging as you need to or want to. So we're going to be doing lots of power push-ups, pistol squats. We're going to go through the 12 warrior or the 10 warrior days together now and, uh, and do some of these exercises to get warmed up and so you can see what's coming. But the first exercise is going to be 10 speed squats. So, feet shoulder width apart, you drop down, explode up, drop down, explode up, drop down, explode up, drop down, explode up. So I'm going to do 10 reps, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so you're going to do 10 speed squats at the beginning of every circuit. Then you're going to, as soon as you're done with your 10, you're going to move on into your two power push-ups, which we've been practicing, but we'll do again. You're going to go, again, tension to the belly, being explosive. As soon as you get those two power push-ups, you're going to go back to the 10 speed squats. So we're going to get two, two power push-ups, 10 speed squats, 
Then we're gonna go three pistol squats, two power push-ups, 10 speed squats, and a pistol squat to, to redeem practice. Not active leg is training, come back. Try to slow down that descent. If you're falling out of the couch, that's okay, but I want you to be, create tension in your hands and gut. Go as slow as you can. Lock it out the glute at the top. Yeah, yeah. And then we do two power push ups and then 10 speed squats. Then we're going to do the dog and the cat Romanian deadlift. So this is fun. And I see a lot of you have fur babies at home. If you have them, they can participate. We're going to do a standard deadlift, which is just butt back, chest up. I'm going to squeeze my butt, drive my hips forward. So I'm going to do that. If you don't have any weights or a cat, you can go with no weight. If you do have dogs or a cat, you just pick them up. You lock up, lock up the glutes at the top. There you go. So you're going to do four reps. Feel that tension in the hamstrings and the gut. Then the lateral lunge. So remember, from the, from the Romanian deadlifts we just did with the uh, with the fur baby, you would go to the pistol squat, power push up, and speed squat. But we'll go into the next round, which is the lateral lunge. We're stepping out. Touching the heel, coming back to where we started. <laughs> Stepping out, back to where we started. Touch, 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 touch. We're gonna do five per side. Chest stays up, reach back, touching that heel. Yeah, all right. We'll do sit out with tripod. So, I'm going to be here, creating that uh, four-point position, knees off the ground, I'm going to pivot to the outside foot, chest comes into my hand, dropping the hip down, going right back to where I started, doing it to the other side. That's the sit-out, and then we're just going to add the tripod, so I'm going to pull that heel, heel in, kick up to the sky, going back down, out, kick through, up. Uh, good for the hips. So you're going to do six per side. Okay. So the other exercises we got after that are the hip mobility four point. So we just did that sit out from it. The hip mobility four point is you're just here on the ground. He's up. I'm barely going to take my foot, reach in, tap. So I'm not moving my upper body lightly at all, or my hips. I'm just tapping my inside of my foot, pushing out to the pinky so that the shoulder blades stay wide. Then I'm doing uh, the swimmer. The swimmer will be on the ground, reaching out front, pushing my feet into the ground. Pulling my, the water into my rib cage, out, pulling the water in, out, in. Excellent. So the goal is to let the shoulder blades ride up and come back down. This should be natural movement with the swimmer motion. Then the single leg bridge is next. On my back, one leg up in the air, kicking up to the sky. The high leg is pointed to the ceiling. The low leg is flat on the ground. Hands on your hips, trying to keep your hips from rotating. So you're going to do an eight per leg. Again, don't let your hips rotate. Ooh, stretch. And then finally, the plank up down. We're here. Pushing all the way up, coming back down, up, down, up, down. We're going to go for a set of 10 of that. Now, <coughs> the timer will be on. We're going to work our way back from every one of these uh, new, new rounds. So we're going to go speed squats, then push up, speed squat, 
then pistol squat, push up, speed squat, then RDLs, squats, or pistol squat, power push up, all the way to the end. We're only gonna go for 18 minutes. We'll see how far we can get on the circuit. If we get done, yay, we get done. But uh, the important thing here is that you're not in a rush, but you're working on your technique, because all these movements require really good form to be valuable, and that's what I want more than anything, is you to get the most out of the strength. Remember, it's not about getting through the workout, it's about getting from the workout. So we don't do something for nothing. You always want to try and get the most from every rep, and that is what develops your body and your mind, not flailing and getting a bunch of stuff done, not, not trying to um, get as many reps as you can in before the timer runs out. Woo! That being said, it's time to start flailing. Are we doing any breaks? Say what? Are we doing any breaks? Nope. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're starting with the speed squats. We're gonna do 10 of them together. Starting in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just did ten squats. Now we're gonna do power push-ups. We're gonna do two of them. Push it to the core, 360 degrees. Push it out to the gut as you go. Now I'm going back to the speed squat. So I did my two push-ups, going back to the speed squat. I'm not in a hurry. I'm just speeding up the concentric side of the squat. Feet are shoulder width apart, exploding through the outside of the foot. I'm gonna do 10 reps. Got two more, nine, 10. Now, I'm gonna do the new exercise, which is pistol push up. Pistol squat, like I said. So I'm sitting, got tension in the gut, rib cage down. Two, three, go to the other side. One, two, three. Now two power push ups. Gonna be strong. Try to get a little bit faster each time. Back to the speed squat. Heels, shoulder width, chest up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cat or dog, you may have this. Get your fur baby or your invisible friend. But back, chest up. Driving the hips forward. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Four reps. Put that back. Pistol squat again. Tension the hands, the gut. Two push ups. Only two, thank God. Ten speed squats. Back to setting up the hip and the feet. Shoulder width apart, rib cage down. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lateral lunges is the new exercise. So, stepping out. Boom. That's one, this is two. Chest up, touch that back to the heel. Three. Get warmer. And four. Five. Feeling really good now. RDLs. Boom. Squeeze those glutes on the way forward. Press it through the higher foot. Pistol squat. Three. 
Three, two push-ups. Tighten your gut, keep these together. Just flow through. Boom. All right, we got some water. Yeah, hydrate as you need to. We're going into 10 speed squats. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. The new exercise, sit out tripod, or sit out with tripod. So I'm here, pivoting the outside, kicking through, lifting the hips, kicking out, sitting through, pulling that heel underneath me, underneath me to create that tabletop position, following the hand with the eyes. It's two, going through. Three, hard for me to get all the way up. So if you struggle with that range of motion, that's okay. Just go to your limit. Don't force it. It's four. Coming up on that five. Ugh. And six. Yeah. Lateral lunges. And out. Again, one, reach for that heel, two, chest up, three, four, five. Oh, that's it. All right. Grab my dog for the remaining deadlift. Ah, pistol squat. Tension throughout the arms and abs. One, two, three, one, two. Three, this will squat. Speed squat, back to the beginning. So we're gonna do 10 perfect reps. Again, only the good ones. If you're feeling like you can't finish the whole thing, just do what you can do well, and then get out of it. Two, three, four, five, Six, chest up, seven, breathing, eight, nine, ten, excellent. Hip mobility, four point. So, we're here. We're going to tap the inside of our shoe. One, knees stay close to the ground. Two, foot moves in, knee barely moves out, hips aren't doing anything. Four, shoulders and hips at the same level. Six, Seven. Woo! All right, back to the tripod. So I'm here. Four point, pivoting out, pulling in, pivoting out, pulling in. Kicking those hips up. Woo! Ugh. My back just pops, so something's going on. This is coming up on six for me. Yeah, yeah. Finish strong. Make sure you get that hydration if you need to. Going back into lateral lunge. So I'm here, out. That's one. Chest up. Two. Three, four, five, six, 
seven. Oh, wait. Five. I'm just going. <laughs> four, lateral, four cut. So clearly I'm warmed up now. I can't mean, focus. Chest up, butt back. Three and four. Distal squat. Tension through the arms, fist, gut. Squeezing the glutes on the way up. Block out that non active leg. Ha! Hamstring sitting. This feels good. Two. And three. Two power push ups. Back to the ground. We're going to go back to the beginning, doing our 10 speed squats. Again, I'm on the hurry, come down a little bit. If you're Chris Roberts, you're probably already done, but that's okay. We're going to go with speed squats, then we're going back to the swimmer. We've got eight whole minutes left. I think we're going to finish this one. We're getting close. All right, back to the squat. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swimmers, so I'm on the ground. Reaching out, looking about one foot in front of me, pulling the hands back, reaching out, feet are pushing to the ground, gently lifting the head. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right, we're only doing eight. <laughs> Hip mobility. We're here. Just tapping the inside of the foot, not making it a problem. Two. Keep those knees close to the ground. Four. Five. Six. Push it through the pinkies. Seven. Six tripods. <clears throat> Sorry, sit out with the tripods on here. Pivot the outside. Bring that foot in. Kick me up. Kicking up, kicking up, kicking up, kicking up, three, coming up by four, make sure both of those hips rise, five, Six, so good. Lateral lunges, going right back to the top. I'm here now, step it out. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Four deadlifts. We're gonna have an invisible cat now. That's two. But back chest up. Three, four, five. So we're doing three pistol squats. Two. Squeezing those hands. Three. Coming back. One, two, three, two power push ups. Remember, that breath is so important. Exhaling forcefully through the core, that's right, through your nose, that's right, through your mouth. <laughs> Forcing the air out with your uh, breath forces those abs to tense especially when you're exploding, so help yourself out and kick out that breath. Going into the 10 speed squats, and then we're going to the single leg bridge. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Now, it's single leg bridge. You're on your back. One foot to the sky. Kicking up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the way to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're doing a swimmer. So over on my other side. Reaching out, pulling back in. Getting that water pulling it into my chest. Three, eyes looking about 12 inches in front of me. Five, elbows down through the hip bone. Arms in, six, seven, and eight. Seven four point mobilities. We're here. Barely moving my knee, but I am moving my foot quite a bit. Two, pressure to the pinky. Three, Knees close to the ground. Four, five, hands and feet close together. Six, and seven. Six is an hour tripod. So we're here. I'm going to hit it on the outside, kick through. Drive up the hip. Come back, kick through. Come back, kick through. Kick through. Kick through. Yes. Doing six per side. Ah, six done. All right, lateral lunges. So we're here. Step out, touching that heel to the foot. One. Two, three, it's chest up, and four, keep going, five, almost home, Warriors, almost home. Two RDLs, three with your pack, four, with those back, pistol squat. Belly's tight, hands are tight. Non-training leg should be tight as well. So I'm sinking down. One, two, three, switch your feet. One, keep that gut tight. Two, three, woo! Power push up. Again, exhale forcefully as it push. All right, so we're going back to the top for the final exercise of the ninth round. 10 speed squats. <clears throat> and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, fast, 10. 10 plank up downs. This final round, got 15 seconds. Let's at least get this drill in. Feet apart, pushing up, coming back down. That's one, two, keep those feet wide. Hips should be at the shoulder height. Five, six, that's the timer. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah. That was 18 minutes of fun. Woo! How'd you guys do? Oh, I survived. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it felt a little easy and then it started to get. <laughs> yeah. We're just collecting our rest before we do the homework. <laughs> and, uh, I know that uh, uh, we've been working on push ups, knee grabs, sit outs all month for the uh, five minutes. 
What's that? I'm here <laughs> breathing hard. So uh, we're going to do our, uh, our homework, which is uh, 20 seconds of push ups, 20 seconds of swimmers, 20 seconds of sit outs, 20 seconds of knee grabs. And Coach Bootsy's going to need you through it. I'm going to get the timer set up but, and, and maybe get some water. Let's do this. We've been working on this all month. We should all be experts at all the things at this point, right? All right. So let's go ahead and we'll start with our push ups first. So if we're doing elevated push ups, if we're doing push ups on the floor, we're going to do it for 20 seconds, count your reps, try to keep track of how many reps that you're doing in that 20 seconds. And Josh, you can put the timer. So you're gonna count us down if you want to start. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Keep everything on, guys. Don't lose those abs. Keep that butt slightly raised, feet are together. Everything's on, everything's tight. Three, two, one. All right, let's switch it out into our knee grabs. We're going in five seconds. Three, two, one, go in. Get those feet flat on the ground at the top, using those shins to help us forward. Just bringing those hands into our chest, getting those shoulders over those hips, keeping those legs out straight at the bottom. Two, one. All right. Let's transition into our sit-outs. Sit-outs. Knees in tight to hands. Good kick out. And go. Sorry, ah, I was doing a tempo. out. <laughs> Getting that back foot flat. Coming back into the center. Kind of like if somebody on your back trying to kick them off. This is a resting move. To switch out. If you have a chin up bar, go to your chin up bar. If you don't have a chin up bar, we're going to do swimmers. All right, in three, two, one. Getting that chest slightly off the ground, pushing those shoelaces into the ground, squeezing the shoulder blades. And we're going. Two, one. And we're done. We did it. We did the mobility. We did the circuit. We did the homework. I can. Josh is sweating. Josh is. Josh is feeling it. Something with working out and coaching at the same time. Mm. A lot of, that's a lot of, huh? uh, it's uh. This has been such a learning experience and so much fun for for me and um, being adaptive. Right. All right, Warriors, is, uh, did, did, did you get my text, Patty? What text? <laughs> Crazy.